This is our last episode before our uh, mid-season break. How you feeling? The last one was a little traumatic. I don't think I've recovered from the fucking necromancer. That was a thing. <laughs> the camera again comes to life and walks away. No! Camera friend, we need oh. you. Kitty. <laughs> Kitty, don't go. We keep scaring the cat. All right. Anyway, yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> last, uh, last week's episode was... Pretty rough. traumatic. Rough. Uh, Pretty traumatic. I think it's just because the, the nomad is so cute and adorable mm -hmm. that something that would be horrifying, you know, were were they a regular person, uh, is made is even worse, worse because they're they're tiny so and cute adorable. And adorable, yeah. So we wind up halfway between break the cutie and fear the quiet ones. Yup. So. You know, good times and great oldies. I We're all terrified. I don't know about you, but me personally, I wouldn't mess with the magic, the one magic man on the world, you know, in the entire world. In the known world. Yeah, no. Let's just, let's not. Mm, not Some on people my just to like to list. fuck with powers greater than themselves, and then you wind up with the reanimator over there who. Uh, Ooh, I love that movie. Makes a better musical, though. It does. <laughs> I, just, I haven't seen it yet. I can't offer an opinion. Oh, the but movie's yeah. Most so we're going to get rolling on this sucker. But before we do, we're still sponsored. We all like us. Yay. Talking about we are things that are small and great. Small and wonderful. Uh, we are once again sponsored by Fred's BS. That is F R E D S B S dot com. He does cookies. He does really, really good cookies and really, really good jams. And if you guys want the full spiel about how we met Fred and our personal experiences with those cookies, I figure we'll save that for like every other video in a series because uh, we waxed on at great length. We did. Because goddamn, they were amazing. Sorry. <laughs> so see the previous video or see the next video when we come back and we will speak in great length about Fred's cookies and Fred's jams and how wonderful they are. They all are hebleble. But in the meantime, we can tell you that all of the ingredients are fresh, never frozen, that they are made in small batches to help keep those wonderful flavors, that the uh, flavors are not available in stores, and I can tell you I have never seen a raspberry peach jam in the wild, but I've seen it on his website and I need it in my life. And that if you are an L.A. local, like we are and like Fred is, uh, you don't have to pay shipping costs. You just pick the L.A. pickup option and you can just drop by and grab your cookies. You don't have to wait. It's like, is the post office bringing me my cookies? No, you are bringing your cookies to yours. I'm really glad I ate dinner before we started doing Otherwise, this. Otherwise, I'd want cookies. Uh, I still want cookies. Yes. But it's not as soul crushing as it was <laughs> yeah. last time we last did. week was definitely like oh god we really want cookies so what do I we do we go to fred and we place an order and say fred we want cookies i think that's and part of why we went on so long yeah, you know, like cookies, oh, yeah. cookies 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 and while we're at it and placing that order we have a discount code for you guys we do so if you enter code kia cookies at checkout you get 20 percent off your entire order whether that's a dozen or a gross or several jars of jam or whatever the heck you want. There's Kia cookies, K-I-A-C-O-O-K-I-E-S. I keep telling you, he doesn't make cat cookies. He just doesn't. They're Not for, for you. Food. They're for people food. Oh, and there she goes. And she was offended by that. She was very offended by Fred, that. Fred, you're going to have to get on it. <laughs> uh, but hey, if you want some people treats, because they are wonderful, fredsbs.com, enter coupon code Kia cookies for 20% off, do the thing, it's wonderful. These cookies are delicious and you should order jam for all your jam buds. For all your jam buds. All right, let's so do, let's, let's, do get the, let's, let's get do this thing. party started. Nomad of Nowhere, season one, episode six, El Rey. El Rey. Oh God. Wouldn't Click. it be hilarious if the king's been dead all this time? I mean, yeah. How did they find him again after the necromancer? That is a great shot! That's great. Oh, man. Wherever you may hide away. Oh! Why is there lightning in a sandstorm? 
Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? This a is more old castle. This is more medieval. It is. Like interesting. And the eye of Sauron. <sighs> oh! oh It's bright yellow. It's not gonna hide you. Oh. Rock friends! Oh! He brought them to life to have sleeping buddies. God damn it, that's adorable. What a wonderful gift you have. She's a Yadala. Do not be afraid. All are welcome here. The storm outside is growing worse. But it is good to see magic again. Rock friends happy little eyes. Hmm? I didn't keep nonsense. That. Your magic is important, Wanderer. Do you not understand? Neither oh, does the audience. My dear, us. thank the stars you were brought to this place. It's a trap! <laughs> Follow me. There is so much to show you. Oh. <laughs> the rock friends are like, we've been alive for like an hour. <laughs> you better know what you want from us. You we have literally a, have no brain. You have a better frame of reference than we do. You want to go in there? I know you're not normally the joke and top talk, but are you trying out jokes now? <laughs> the only place the nomad could have gone. There's no way he gets far inside of that thing. This might be our only chance. There's no way yeah, you get far might. inside of that thing. But if thing. we go in after him, it might as well be our two. These nowhere storms are savageous. They'll zap the brains right out of your head. Assuming you don't mind a lot and bury the sands first. Don't savagerous. let a book tell you what you can't do. I think you can handle this. Aww. You, you really think so? Oh. They're going super hard on the anime eyes this episode. So too. Oh, that was precious. That was manipulative. <laughs> meant it. You don't know. She might have. You're right. I don't know. Whoa. Are you having a flashback in a different art style? He is. It's so funny because I was going to say the music was so like medieval. Goodbye, Audrey. And what princess are we saving? No, we're, we're having like a very a crown. We're having a very samurai chain. Wait! This is bad. Oh, what boy. if the nomad is the king? Then who's El Prey? Then what's going on? A figurehead? Well, I just remember the fact that I'm no good at this bravery thing. Maybe we should head on back? Just a little further. He's got to be close. Yeah, okay. What? Yeah, about that. <laughs> what? Whoa. Rock friends. I'm not a hundred percent sure he's not El Rey. Okay, growing crops. Maybe Whoa! Better. Magic, magic. Uh. Um. Uh oh. 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 I'm running no. out of magic. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no! no! Oh, I think we've made it evil now. Uh, now we know why El Rey wants magic. Oh snap! Oh my gosh! Oops. 
to go for the soft underbelly. There's no armor there. What's this thing even doing out here? Oh. Oh, sure. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this will end poorly for everyone, way. <laughs> nope. Ha. Ah. Ooh. One of her stabbing knives. Oh! oh! Are we still for kids? I don't I don't I think we stopped being for kids last episode. Last episode. episode. Oh. Roasted meat. We eat well tonight. Die of blood loss. That's the price of being relentless. Do you notice in the other flashback, the more magic users it ate, the more uh, the land dried up? Crown is overtaking him. Yep. No. 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 Oh, dude. Ah. I hope we get to see these guys. I was gonna say, I think we just witnessed Alexander Anderson. Oh no, the four. That's an incredible world building. And the corners of the uh, oh, Awesome! <laughs> he has a snake in his foot. Yeah, there was a snake in his foot. Is? So tall. Let me get this straight. You and that cute as a button, what's the name of yours, circled the nomad for weeks on end, and just when you were on his trail and had him cornered in a nowhere storm, you were back Stop that. in your search. Stop yes, that. Don Paragon. We had an emergency. Oh, thank goodness. For a second, I thought you'd started considering going back on our deal. Because that's the only explanation I can come up with in my pretty little cabeza for why you've come back to me again empty-handed. It was one of my soldiers. No, not one of your soldiers. Your spittoon girl. You know what I do when one of my possessions starts failing me right in the middle of something important? I leave it behind and get a new one! When we first met, the thing that okay, impressed but she's me the most about you was that you were willing to do anything to save your people. Your lot may live longer than most, but they won't get far without my help. They need magic, I need the nomad. But I need the nomad to give them magic. Don't you know how this works? I don't. <laughs> Sorry. And there's the map. I bring El Ray the nomad. He's going to reward me for doing what none of his other governors have done for the last 100 years. He's going to make me one of them and give me all the powers that come with the title. So, governors. would that make you the governor of the Southwest? The South Southwest? Sorry, I don't mean to criticize or nothing. It's just that neither of those have much of a ring to it. Ah! Don't! The 
Does anyone else want to critique my light goals? How about you, Tom? Do you have a better plan to help your people than doing it through me? My way? I never thought I'd have to tell you, of all people, to stop caring so much. I need you back on my side. Help me help you help me become a governor. Then we both get what we want. I'm sorry, sir. It, it won't happen again. Good. Now, one of you fetch somebody to clean this mess up. I've got fencing practice to attend to. <laughs> Jesus! Red Manuel knew in what you fear. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the music starts. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe you. Thanks. Aww. Uh oh. Okay. I'll see you later. Where'd the old lady go? Was she ever there to begin with? That was a very Samurai Jack episode. Yeah, forget what I said about <laughs> we, this being We took a kids. flying leap away from the kids show idea. We just... Oh, oh, one of the dandelions got super stabbed. Just murdered. Just bye. I'm trying to think of what the crown absorbing magic users reminds me of. Like it's reminding me of something very specific and I can't place it right now. I, I know what you're thinking about. There's definitely something that is pinging for me too, but hell if I know what it is off the top of my head. I'm sure, I'm sure so it'll there's, come to there's me. There's all sorts of stories about magic things that absorb the user's essence, whatever. Like, yeah. Golly! It just... It ate him! It ate him! <laughs> Here's your world building! Okay... Eddie, what the hell? <laughs> so he was... Ch he's... He's Saruman. A little he's bit. He's fucking Saruman. A little bit. He got the Eye of Sauron and now he's evil as hell. Just... Yeah, he got the magic thing. In this case, literally a, a magic. And used it to do good, and then realized that he could gain more power by murdering people. And like, it, seriously, that scene with the line of magic users growing shorter and shorter, as it grew shorter, like, the bushes and the trees and whatnot disappeared. So, yeah, yeah magic was evidently required for the balance of this world, and we done fucked it up! Oh, uh, I wonder if that means when you destroy the crown... If all of that magic gets released, like that if it's be been, our end goal. maybe like it's all welled up in a dam somewhere, metaphysically speaking, um, and the rest of the land is dying as a result. That doesn't necessarily answer any of our questions about the nomad himself. Oh no, uh, or themselves. The I'm, I'm still willing to believe inanimate object brought to life, a uh, bad person who was a magic user who got their memory fragmented and now has to do good, good deeds, deeds for Nomad McDowell. Yeah, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. I'm still willing to go into all of those, but oh my gosh, the world building we got. Alexander Anderson! <laughs> His name is Alexander Anderson! <laughs> So we have a Minotaur, Alexander Anderson, fans and knives, and I didn't even cotton on to the other person because I was so fucking stuck on Alexander Anderson. Well, and I'm a I, I like sucker up I like and take fans a look. and knives. I really liked fans and knives. Fans too. and knives had a very nice look. A very about great aesthetic. Her? Them? I assume her, but that is an assumption on my part. Yeah, we're definitely backing this up to take a look here. Oh, Just guys, like, we have right, to know. We, we have to know. So we have the Minotaur, which... There's the... Okay, there's the Minotaur. And, it, you know, it's entirely possible that all of these generals are under his magical control. All right, oh, okay, so we've got... Basket Man. <laughs> Oogie Boogie with claws. <laughs> we have Oogie Boogie with claws. We have Alexander Anderson, and we have... Fans, knives, and ghosts. Yeah, and Alexander I'm, I'm guessing Anderson ghosts. has the moon behind him. Like, this is all very creepy, but honestly, Alexander Anderson. That, I that's love yeah. fans and knives, though. <laughs> fans and knives, and then Alexander 
freaking Anderson, I swear <laughs> to God. Sorry, we, we, like, we definitely it. rewound and watched that little bit again. Okay, like, so he's okay. there. Alexander and So assuming this is so north, is south, the, east, west. So he is the general of the east. Um, I'm going to assume... Uh, I can't really tell between north and south Flat. because west, east and west are fucking obvious. I'm yes. assuming that Oogie Boogie is the south and Fans and Knives is the north. Hard to say. It could go Very either way. Hard to say. I've got no idea. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, we've got a clover down south and a skull with sunglasses up north, so I have no idea. So, could go either way. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to assume corner. Bagman is up top here and that Fans and Knives is down south. Because the teardrop looking things? Because the teardrop looking things and also the skull with the sunglasses is more, not to stereotype, but it is more of a male aesthetic. I don't know. I don't know. It could go either way. And again, so all of these characters the, are kind of, it could, it could go either way. You know what? I bet you're right, because I would also bet that the iron border is somewhere up there with the maces uh, and the mountains. North. And, and he the looks like he had robot claws. hands. Yeah, okay, iron border. I bet you're right. Iron border, sweet. Maybe. We have no idea oh, where the iron guessing. border is. We are just like, we are reaching. We're, so, we're throwing darts at a map, yeah. Oasis was down, down here. there. Yeah. So conceivably we're we're right here, we're right? Southwest. Yeah, ish. 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 Since it we looks We could be anywhere. But we're probably yeah, the area that looks like uh, Mesa has the plateaus and whatnot. Yeah. That's that's the aesthetic we've had so far. I will be interested to see, because it looks like we also have a swamp and plains and mountains, yeah. I'll be interested to see if we have actual plant life in these other regions. Yeah. And what it'll take to get there. Because I'm sure at some point we're going there. We have just set up the world and the four mini-bosses before uh. the main boss, so I feel like at some point we're, we're, we're going full Majora's Mask, you guys. We're going in there, we're thawing out Goron Mountain, we're, we're, ca we're uh, rescuing the Deku Princess, we're going to go take out the giant worms, and then we're going to earn the Fierce Deity Mask and go take on Majora. Like, this is what we're doing. And we have a silent protagonist. I left the boss out of there. There's no, there's no really good place in there for a giant fish. Let's be real. I mean, so, maybe the wetlands. Maybe the wetlands. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Deep pull there. That game's like 20 years old? Uh, everything about this was awesome. Oh my god, yes. Uh, yes. It is interesting, oh. like, seeing blood in this mm -hmm. show. In, you know, the first three, four episodes were fairly kid-friendly. Fairly lighthearted. And then, and then last time, we didn't have blood, and Big Jib didn't die from Shovel, but we definitely had it, more violence than It did than escalate. And the violence stopped being cartoony and started being, did we just take a hard left on The Walking Dead? And then there's this. We're like, there's blood. Uh, and on-screen murder. That rhino got stabbed in the eye. That dude got stabbed in the stomach. And he's not getting up. And then oh, none dear. of them leave him. Leave him. Like... It's like, not one of your soldiers. Your spittoon girl. Like, she, she's not a possession. She's a human. Well, guys. Guys. Leave it behind and get another. Ugh. What a, what a dis, I mean, he was, he was, he was comical. He's horrifying. He was unsettling, but comical in the second episode. Here, it's like, oh no, we just, we, uh-oh, uh-oh, we crossed a line. There is a self-interested sociopath in charge of this noise. Well, and again, knowing now what he wants, it's more concrete, because it's just like, ooh, I shall be rewarded by the king. Now it's like, no, he we wants to be in general. He wants to be a general, and we have a better understanding of the consequences of handing the Nomad over to El Rey. The Nomad would be eaten by this thing. Eaten! The literal last magic user. I mean... Aside from this horrifying creature at the center of the map. I hate to say it. Best case scenario, when this thing eats you, you die. Worst case scenario is that you're, you're still in there. You're still in there. 
Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead right now and bet on the worst case scenario. Oh, god! Because if you can break it and open it up, does that mean that you get everyone does back? That, does that, does does that, that mean better? you can restore balance to the world? I, I feel like everybody who's in there is dead, but like maybe that releases the magic and it finds a new home, so maybe. to speak. Maybe. It finds new vessels to inhabit, and it so, restores life to the world. And I'm thinking that the crown is evil. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. Cursed artifact. It, it straight up looks like the Eye of Sauron. You brought that up. And it was guarded by undead soldiers, automated weaponry, Audrey too, and a maybe, few other things. Maybe like, it, belonged, it shouldn't have been found. We had an entire episode about a wannabe necromancer. One of Sauron's names was the Necromancer. What if this was created by a Necromancer? And last episode we also had the comment about the Yadala have magic that, like, had magic that we hadn't had, like, it's all in this book, etc., etc. So, we know that they are or were a people capable of magic. But magic also looked to be fairly commonplace before... Yeah, back then. Yeah, before Elrond messed everything up. Oh, it's so heartbreaking, so too. So it might was, have been made. He I was using right. magic for good. Ooh. And then it ran out and was like, well, how do I get more to do more good? And then we fed the crown and that eye And he, got... his youth was restored. Mm. It's like, oh, suddenly this paints a very interesting picture. I, again, I would not be surprised if the crown is sentient, if it is a cursed object, if it's... I wasn't kidding about the Majora's Mask parallel here. Like, Skull Kid was kind of a dick, but the mask was evil. Oh, yeah, no. I, I 100% that, I'm pretty sure that crown is is behind the it's driver's evil. seat at yeah. this point. No, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty... Especially with the, uh, the visual shorthand of the crown coming down to cover half his face. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, it's... It's like a cordyceps parasite. Yeah. I'm I'm also trying to think because I know that Crown there have deceps. been I know there have been other stories about like you know the the magical object that takes control of essentially you. eats your damn yeah, face yeah the the evil magical object I'm trying to think oh, of specifics right there's now there's plenty again, though my brain um, again this is great everything about the world building that we got is great and now I'm heartbroken because the one thing separating Toth from Javert was her love and compassion for Scout. And now that's been beat out of her, and I'm so sad. But then sad. think about it. It gets someone else you don't really care quite that much about, leave the person you care about in Safe. relative yeah. safety. Yeah, but and she's I mean, not... she was wearing a... She was wearing... She was using a crutch and still trying to recover. She's yeah. in no fit state to get going. But no, and that's, that's the thing, though, is that we have the, uh, the television show way of relaying that to another person in that like I'm just gonna pretend I don't care about them so that they won't want to go with me as opposed to just saying hey you're still recovering I got ground I need to cover I'll come back for you like that's but all it's also maybe also needing. BTW stay away from Don Paragon <laughs> dudes cray cray I mean, maybe tell Scout, go back home for a little while. I'll come back yeah, for you. Yeah, when you're well enough to travel, go home. I would love to see Scout off on her own, run into the Nomad, and wind up like teaming up with him and wandering with him. I'm sure that's him, where we're going. And then running into Toth at some point. I'm sure that's where we're going. Yeah. Um, but, oh man. Oh man. man. Sorry guys, we, we're still just staring at this map. It... it I'm so That happy. was... So much world building. Ugh. And we have no idea if that elderly Yadala woman was ever there at all. Mm -hmm. What if El Rey is the Yadala? I mean, if he's got magic at his disposal, he can shapeshift or he can astro project or. I don't know. Whatever. There's all sorts of awful shit going on over there, man. We are, we are in the crapsack world. We are in Hell Kingdom. <laughs> I'm real excited though. This is all great and I can't yeah. I can't wait to talk more about it come Wednesday. Yep. 
This, yeah, we're we're doing the AfterBuzz TV thing. We're always doing the AfterBuzz TV thing. So what? <laughs> Okay. Oh, kitty cat, has this upset you? She wants you? to be part of this too. Uh, we she should, really we should probably wrap it up. She just farted like in my face. <laughs> okay. Thank you, cat. I appreciate everything you have to offer to this conversation. Yeah. So, Roots or Teeth Reviews, After Buzz TV's animation YouTube channel, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesdays. So do the thing. It'll be good. Yeah. If we're not doing Nomad, we'll be doing RVB. And then Camp Camp will come back and we'll be doing that too. And, we and then like, Genlock will so show up at some point in our lives. And we, that will also happen. I, I, I'm not going to say who yet, but we have a couple special guests lined up for the Nomad After Show. Which so. should be fun. Indeed. If you fart on me again, I'm kicking you off the couch. Bless this cat. Anyway. All right. I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Menguin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. And I'm Katie. You can follow me all over the social medias as well as on Twitch at KiaJ. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. We have a sister channel, Silver Screams. That is Silver underscore Screams on the social medias and Silver Screams on YouTube. Keep an eye on that for, I would say, all of your horror needs, but really it's some very specific horror needs involving the both of us, and it's just super fucking fun. So keep an eye out on that channel. Uh, if you would like to support us, of course, please go to fredsbs.com and use the code Kia Cookies for 20% off of your order because the cookies and jam are wonderful and you should absolutely treat yourself. Uh, you can also support us via Patreon. So thank you to our new supporters. I see you and I love you. Aww. And that the monthly support for Patreon will get you cat videos and Steven Universe reactions, and that's the only place they live right now because <laughs> YouTube. And all sorts of other fun stuff, so uh, support us there. If you want to just throw a couple bucks our way, we do have a Kofi. And if you would like us to react to or discuss anything specific within reason, we also take commissions. All of that is in the description below. If you like what you saw, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see more of it. Uh, like the video and hit the little bell so you can let YouTube know that, yes, you do want to see more. Please tell you when there is more to see. So, like, subscribe, ding. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Alexander Anderson. <laughs> My name is Alexander Anderson, and I like killing things because it's fun. So just you pray, just you pray. <laughs>